apparently, I don't take no pleasure in rejoicing in anybody's relationship failures. Even when I was younger, I just never took pleasure in that. I know a lot of you people do, especially a lot of you women who claim to be for the sister girl, my home girl. Y'all don't care about each other. Let's stop the cap. Y'all don't give a French toast about each other. Mm -mm, you know, you don't. So, I got some, I'm going to give my commentary about this because I think it's fucking hilarious about this criminal thugette, this fuck criminal thug, dirty ass, mean ass heifer, this criminal, this t terrorist who tried to harm some women, hiring a hitman, and you were sent for, for taking the money, bro. You, 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 come on, I know, I'm, I'm tired of black men just being. The woman is in charge. Y'all jump. When the woman says jump, y'all jump. I ask how high. I mean, it is so hard for my brother. I'm tired of seeing my brothers, my black brothers, be compromised like this. Be emasculated. You're taking money from, you're going you're gonna to have somebody pay you to commit a crime. Or you're going to offer, she's going to offer you some sex. And you're going to. A a a a a, a thirty a, a, a five minute nut. Some of y'all are very short. Y'all need to stop playing with yourselves, right? You know, you know, you gotta stop playing with yourselves. You just want to have a nut. A nut. You just want to stick it, stick your uh, um, your hot dog in that bun in that hot dog roll, right? And you're gonna forsake your so called freedom and get locked up because she mad at some other woman because Offset is. Being a polygamist, let me say this, ladies. A lot of men are polygamous. The type of men you want are very, they practice polygamy. Don't don't get it twisted. And the type of men who don't do that, y'all don't want to fuck with them. Y'all don't want to fuck with us. And I said us, with myself included, because when a guy is loyal and he ain't about that, he ain't about just playing the field, y'all just disrespect the men. Y'all ain't, y'all the ones who are not loyal. I don't feel sorry for Cardi B. I wouldn't say this is a karma. I don't see this as, as a karma, to be honest with y'all. You call black women cockroaches, dark-skinned black women, you are, you are, you are colorist, and your misandry was showing. Let me tell you about women who are misandrous. A lot of times, your women who, women who are very feminist-minded, very misandrous, they're very misogynistic towards other women, and I've noticed that. It's like this. Let me, sh it's kind of like I go by and shout out to whoever made this, but I shout out to China Fox, right? I know y'all don't like that, um, that overweight, big, light skin, Shirley, bum, 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 I know, but I, I, I but she's, but a lot of times she'd be on point. There are times when she's on point, I got to give my flowers and she got some pretty toes. Okay. Any woman who don't like black men usually don't like black women. Any black men who don't like black women really hates black men. Okay, that's how deep the self hatred is. Okay, all right. So we're gonna. So this is what she's talking about right here. And she, this, this modern Hoffa is a walking contradiction. I mean, none of that. I don't know if you have been getting clues from me for my life. I mean, I don't know if you guys been getting clues from me for my lives or for my stories when I put some certain oh. music or for my own followings. When it comes for today's events and stuff. I don't know if it's true. I don't think it's true. I don't care to find out because I, I've been single for a minute now, but I have been afraid. So you've been, wait a minute. So you've been single for a minute. I don't believe you, Cardi. And now if you've been single for a minute, because you, 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 you because this is what she said first. Now, but, but she went on live and talked about she wasn't. So what's, so what you got to gain, Cardi? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce her real name because I know her real name. Sami, what's what's this? What's some? What, what's this? So you you're you're playing on the the heartstrings of the black women you call cockroaches. You cover as heifer. Now I would have said something, but you know, I'm trying to. I ain't trying to get censored by your super sensitive modern huffers. It's too like, I'm not afraid. I just don't know how like to tell the world. But I feel like today has been like a sign. Like, I've been, the last time I got on live. What is what y'all would tell in the world anything? Why do y'all women like to tell y'all your business? 
Why do y'all, y'all, it's like, and then y'all take the worst advice from women who don't, who can't run the, the, the bitches of the night who can't run their own life. Like, I kind of wanted you guys to tell you. I kind of wanted to tell you guys, but I didn't know how to tell you. So I was like, I changed my mind. But it has been like this for a minute now. And I was just, I just took it as a sign. So I want to, I want to start 2024, like fresh, open. Aren't you the same, aren't you the same modern heifer to talk about that I can find, I can replace Offset? Cardi. You can feel the way you want to feel. Okay, she is. She is certainly not my cup of tea. Even when I look at her, she's damn sure my not my cup of tea. Well, Calvin, she would never give you the time, and I don't give a shit. I have high standards. I I I, I pull better women than this. Just because a woman is a celebrity, just just because a woman is famous, just because a woman man make more make more money than me, that doesn't mean she's more valuable than me. You guys, I don't let women who got a, who got clout and high following bother me. That uh, I'm not intimidated, but I just don't but no, it's just your damn mouth, your bad attitude, your narcissistic behavior. You are the symbol. You the the, the toxic masculine heifer. That's what I, the issue is. But I'm not bothered. We're not. I'm not bothered. Most men, many men, I would say, I can't speak on most because I've seen too much sibling. Many men don't give a damn about because the only guys who probably would care, I don't, because my, what, what I got the game, are you going to help me? Are you going to build with me? Or are you going to be a selfish heifer? But meanwhile, you'll take my money <laughs> and you'll build some, some loser. I don't even, even, it, it, we, even when I watch Cam Newton, Cam Newton is a loser to me. He a pookie. Just because a, a, a man got money don't mean he can't be a Pookie and Ray Ray. The original Pookie and Ray Ray was the, the founding fathers of this America America Kika. Don't forget that. I don't know. I'm curious for a new for a new life, for a new beginning. And it ain't gonna be no new beginning, baby. It ain't gonna be no new beginning. You thirty you thirty one going on thirty two. You ain't you can't you're not gonna get what you had. you the options that you had at 18, 19, even before underage, but, but, but 18, 19, 21, 22, you ain't going to have them options that you got, that you had when you was age 21. You're not going to have them type of options that you think you think you're going to find better. And then you got kids. Come on, Cardi. You're not going to have a new life. That life is going to be a death sentence. Yeah. I'm excited. Now we have the walking contradiction and how she just went on a emotional tirade. And I don't look, I know it's a different era, but this is the problem I have. You if you had a problem of an issue with Cardi B, if you had a personal problem with offset, why are you taking this to social media? What is what this does? This this stuff. If I go to social media and people will be and I'll get the public on my side, how are they gonna be on your side and what? <laughs> Ain't like you standing in front of the judge. <laughs> Ain't like you trying to start a movement. <sighs> Shit. I mean, what, 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 what is with this? I'm going to, every time I have a problem with somebody, I want to air out my lunch. Why do you women have problem or you have a disagreement with somebody and then you lie and talk about how much of a victim you are and then you think you're going to get some white knight simp, some simp enforcer, or, the, or them, them pick me heifers who want female, who want to be part of the hyena hood. The sisterhood, even though she, the woman of the night, can't run her own life, but she's gonna tell you what to do, and then you're gonna have nothing, and your kids are gonna resent you, and then the men are gonna resent you. These women are not smart, and this is not the business. I just made a video about Romeo and, and Master P. Okay, I'm tired of y'all. Same with same with Darius Jackson and Kiki Palmer. I'm tired of us. As a whole, every time we got issues with somebody, we're going to argue on social media. If I know somebody and they live in my house or I live a couple of minutes, somewhere, if I got an issue with them, I'm talking to them. I am not going to just tell everybody my problems because a lot of people outside the relation, outside the relationship don't want you to fail. A lot of people want to, a lot of women want to see other women fail, especially when they got a husband, especially if they're doing well. 
A lot of you women are so, y'all are not humble. You're not grateful. You're narcissistic and selfish, and you want to be right all the time. That's a dangerous woman that don't know how to stay in her place. She wants to have the bet, the authority and power of a man, but don't want the responsibility and power that comes with that. She wants the benefits of womanhood, but don't want to be a fitted, docile, polite, caring, loving, nurturing woman. She don't want to be fit for real and cooperative. She don't want to deal with the negatives that come with that. Anything you do, any role you have, there's going to be positive and negatives. It's about what you want to deal with. It's over and over and over and over and over again. Because you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face, in your fucking face, over and over and over and over and over again. And she'll be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that a nigga like to... Yo, this motherfucker really likes to play games with me when I'm at my most bottom of time. When, I, when I'm not the most confident. They like, he likes to play games with me because he knows... I, hold on. How are you not the most confident? I thought you, you, you talk all this shit all day. How are you not the most confident? You I, How are you not the most confident? You talk shit to people every day. How are you the most, you, you were very cocky in that previous clip. And, I, and, and let me tell you, you know, I don't like to make videos about you, bitch. I don't, don't like to make videos about you. I don't like to speak about you. Because I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say it. But I, I mean, I hope you get that deadly ass karma. <laughs> okay. You talk the most shit. You all happy, all happy. You are very condescending. You're very rude. You're very entitled narcissistic you're not humble because you should be humble cardi b because you 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 sucked and fucked your way and you got in the industry by that you didn't come from no talent you didn't come from no hard work and grit you didn't come from no integrity you didn't come from no pride go sit down somewhere bitch i'm not an easy girl you are <laughs> how in the hell are you gonna say you're not an easy girl when the way you got there was being a hoe I don't give a damn if you ladies are offended. You lovely huffers are offended by what I'm saying. She is an easy girl. Are you? Was you a virgin when you met Offset? You was a stripper and you prostituted. You sold your cooch. You sold. You 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 got on your knees for money. You drugged and robbed and raped men. You have robbed women. You have bullied and terrorized women. You cut from other sisters to get ahead. I remember you from loving hip hop, lesson hip hop. Don't forget that, Cardi. I'm at my most vulnerable time when I when I'm not the most confident. They like he likes to play games with me because he knows I'm not an easy girl. What? He knows. Yesterday I could have been out. I could have been chilling. I could have been this and that. He knows I'm in my house. He. You could have been chilling. You okay? What's stopping you from chilling? Knows that I'm chilling. He knows I'm not doing the most. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been fucking feeling yourself, you bitch ass nigga, because of your bitch ass album and shit. And you've really been fucking doing me dirty after so many. Wait a minute. How, but you've been doing, you, you've done him dirty. I mean, and you have done a lot of people dirty. And I don't think this is your karma. I think, I think something worse needs to happen to you. This is like probably like 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 a probably a little sample of what type of karma you will experience. You need to for, you need to repent. You need to talk to the Most High and and right the wrongs and confront them people and apologize to those people that you violated, that you robbed, that you lied and scammed, that you terrorized, that you assaulted, that you sexually assaulted, you exploited, and you harmed. You need to apologize to those men and women. You lied on people. You need to repent. You bragged about it. And I don't feel sorry for you. You will never get my sympathy and you disrespected darker skinned black women. And the fact that you women, you, you black women who supports a woman who's non-FBA I don't care if she was, bro. Look, the fact that you support women just because she's melanated, all skin folk and kin folk. The fact that you 
she has to as has said a lot of na- the derogatory things about you black American women specifically, black women as a whole, but you still, and she is kind of herself Latina when it was convenient, even though there's African ancestry with the Latina. <laughs> okay. Latina is the Latino, Latino, Latina is not a race, you know, racial group, you know what I'm saying? It's a nationality, Okay. But now she wants to talk to her black female fans and play on her heartstrings, and I'm not allowing my sisters to get pimped. I'm not allowing my black queens to be scammed anymore. You need to boycott her. You need to cancel her. Okay? Fucking years that I motherfucking helped your ass. So many fucking years that I motherfucking problem and shit, and you really been fucking doing me dirty after so many fucking years that I motherfucking helped your ass. Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your bitch ass. And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet because whenever I fuck I tell you something, you don't take shit seriously. And I'm so tired of it. <laughs> Why do you think going to the internet is gonna help you, Cardi B? Why? Why? What is with this going to the internet? What are, your people can your fan, the same people that you're talking to, they're not supporting you financially, just like Megan Thee Stallion. Without, I mean, you promote degeneracy, you promote trash, and you got a trashy ass, whole ass nigga. An offset. I don't have a problem with offset. I don't know offset. I have no interest in knowing the nigga. I don't have a problem with you personally. I don't know you, but you have, but you came out your mouth. And talked about your criminal ass shit, and, and and the fact that you robbed a black man, you assaulted a black man, you you set him up with transactions, you have drugged him and robbed him and terrorized people, terrorized men. You have done, you scammed women, you have cut from up women, particularly black women, to get ahead. You have sold your soul, you have fucked and sucked your way to the top, and then you and then and then I don't look. I've had my issue with Nicki Minaj, but Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj is 40 years old and she's whooping your ass in the industry. You and make between Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj is still a goat. She's still the goat. My, I have issues with her, but I gotta give my props. Nicki Minaj is still the goat and she's more, and she's still finer than Cardi B. Got nice ass feet, pretty ass feet. Face, even though it's all cut up, despite her face being all cut up, cut up and all that stuff, Nicki Minaj is better, still better than looking at the new Cardi, and she's older. <coughs> okay, Cardi B, you, it, it's like you, you fell off. You fell off. This is not. This is not. This is not. Uh, this ain't two thousand. This is not twenty sixteen. This is not twenty seven. This is not twenty seventeen, and this is not twenty eighteen. Your 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 you a has been. Your career ended before it got started. Now you're having these problems, and, and, and it's probably and this is to me. You should you should suffer more. You need to repent. You need to apologize, and then uh, and, and, and talk to and speak to the Most High and say I and, and, and cry out for forgiveness. Since you want to talk, hey, this ain't on no church shit. This is this is on some real shit. You need to repent for your wickedness, and it's in, in, in your past is coming is coming to whoop your ass. You need to accept this fact, Cardi B. You are you're gonna to have to face you reap what you sow, and a lot of y'all don't understand that. Do I take pleasure in this? No, but for her to have this breakdown. Which I thought was comical. <clears throat> you, I'm sorry. You knew who Offset was. Offset, you knew who the nigga was. But see, the problem for a lot of you women, especially you melanated heifers, you Western melanated women, you think you can control a man. You think a man is your property. You got that white male slave master mindset. And that's the problem for a lot of our um, sisters. And I use that loosely. I'm using that loosely because y'all don't consider her a sister. Based on what she do to the what she did to when she practiced anti black misandry terrorism. No. No. 
I told you, you you get in a wake up call, and to me that that's that, that's just that's just that's just a sample of it. It, it. You have more. You're dealing with them consequences. It's coming. It's coming to get you now. You better wise up because 2014. No, no, not 2014. To 2024 is not going to be better for you. You're getting not now. You gonna you're gonna realize that all the stuff you did, all that wump shit, that was cute when you was in your early 20s. Now when you're in your 30s, ain't no, we ain't going for that. You it, it, you look, you women who look over the age of 25 talk, talk, talk about still twerking, shaking your ass, and talk about wamp and being all risque. It's not cute. Go sit down somewhere. You need to mentor these younger women. You need to you need to you need to you need to change the course. You need to be an example now. Talk to these young girls. These young girls who are 18, 19. And then get in the industry. You need to. You need to. You need to. You need to educate them. And if you don't, this just shows you that a lot of you women don't care about these young girls. Y'all don't care about these younger women. You want them to suffer just like you did, and that's selfish. This is the problem of our community as a whole. 